Okay, this is Mike here. Just dropped mom at the hospital for a potluck with all of her Gift of Life friends and they're sharing pins of, um, you know, how long since they had their transplant. My mom had her transplant 14 and a half years ago. And next year she'll get her 15 pin. But I met a number of people that were at like, you know, two years, four years. There was one lady that was mentioned as being absent uh, that would have got her eight year pin. They'll probably present it to her in her room, but uh, she's eight years post heart transplant getting a kidney transplant. And it was my intention to have a full reflection on a quote I came up with, it seems, just observing a conversation in the Lord of the Rings uh, series that's on, and two people were chatting about, you know, what's next for them, and the cast that they carry being, you know, in medieval times and, you know, places around the world still operate on a cast system. But uh, people often, with their sense of duty, sense of responsibility, sense of position um, on the ladder of the economy, uh, are very comfortable where they're at. And uh, change or innovation or uh, introduction to new ideas or books, uh, like the one I'm currently consuming called Main Street Millionaire, Cody Sanchez, fantastic book where this girl, um, you know, carries with her. Let me, let me just close the, the thought process because I realize I jump around a little bit, hoping people uh, keep up. But uh, what they were talking about is, um, you know, are you going to travel with me to the next de destination, to the next adventure? And the younger fella says, no, I prefer to stay low. And the older, wiser gentleman said to him, you know, what, what are you carrying um, that keeps you so low? And I was just like, what are you carrying that keeps you so low? And with this book, Main Street Millionaire, um, you know, Cody is explaining to people that, you know, there's opportunities in legacy businesses, uh, especially with a large swath of boomers retiring, um, for people to step in and introduce some new energy, new blood, new ideas to these businesses. And with some creative means that she explains to the book, um, she wants people to really identify what would be a good fit for them, understand what you're carrying into this business. Is it going to be suitable for you to generate uh, profit potential and growth for this business? Or do you have biases that would prevent you from the long term of that? Maybe you are a very talented marketer or, you know, you're in HR. Or maybe you worked at a factory all your life and you just understand certain things about businesses that could accelerate their production. Um, but knowing what those values are, those things that you carry and connection again to the, the heart transplant community. Uh, the stories that they carry and how, you know, smoothly they transition into conversations about, you know, um, challenges that they've had, health challenges and being in the hospital environment. You know, it's just like, it's the story that they carry, the, your story, the stories that people aren't sharing um, as often as they could helping people understand where, where do they fit into their story. Maybe it's your business that you're trying to sell. Um, maybe it's, uh, you know, a health condition that you're trying to navigate and there's something that you're carrying, a, a tool set, a resource set, a knowledge set that really is my wish for the world that people told their story more often or sought out new adventures more often to 
not only hone their resources, knowledge, tool set, but be able to share in the adventures of others and the idea that, you know, what you bring to the table could be extremely valuable to somebody else. So I hope that me posing this question, um, what do you carry that keeps you so low? And asking myself that question, immediately that what comes to mind is uh, cigarettes, uh, booze, and um, an addiction to being of service to others uh, keeps me low where I know I've grown my knowledge, I've grown my resource set, I've grown my abilities, I've grown my value in the marketplace as not only a service person, but as an educator, as a master of a trade, as a writer, as um, a succession specialist, understanding the steps and procedures of things I see people doing and just literally getting down to the basic uh, steps and procedures that's required to accomplish tasks. I see those constantly and, and I want to detail them for people. And what I do is I lower myself and realize, okay, I've got my own business in service of boats and getting down to the steps and procedures and the tasks and being hands-on and being unconsciously competent in these things enables me to generate um, cash flow that I need to support my life but I know factually and actually there's consulting positions for minds like mine that can observe the steps and procedures and offer adjustments to you know the feedback you get from asking key questions of business owners like why did they get into it what do they love about it what would they change it about their year one now that they're in, in year 10 and you know just really ask people to tell their story about their business and there may be a way for you not only to you know benefit or profit from a shared experience evolving a business but just become better by being of service to others and finding a way to, you know, maximize productivity in each day. Like there's things you can do that what you're carrying may keep you from doing what you could be doing, you know? And, you know, it makes me think there's a lot of people with, you know, emotional trauma, um, you know, post trauma, stress issues, anxieties, uh, health issues, absolutely, that keep people in the safest lane, you know, and not willing to change, and I think we're in a very fast-paced, evolving world where there are tools and resources and access to knowledge and data sets that can empower anybody at any position in life to do more, be more, serve more, and sell more, if that's what you're up to, and create a better life for you and the people around you. Uh, I'm going to be doing my own work as, you know, trying to rebuild my service business and my, uh, my startup, you know, I had this great idea and got after it really strong and, you know, there was um, things that my co-founders were carrying that they couldn't uh, let go of to grow this business with me and, and same for me, I, I didn't want to place an operator on my service business or I didn't have one, <laughs> I developed many, many people and they expired through COVID, but I, uh, I believe I do still carry some regret for not asserting some more uh, structure to the apprenticeship that I have planned for anybody that works in my art, craft, and trade, but yeah, there's more work to do, you know.
people understanding what am I carrying that keeps me so low because there's only room to grow in this life you know that's what we're up to like we're growing we're evolving we're becoming something that we were not yesterday be it a day older or you know a book smarter let's get it thanks for watching and yeah ask yourself pitch it in the comments what are you doing you know what is the frequency of the things that you do frequently is another quote that I had but what are you carrying that keeps you so low let me know and what are you going to do about it you can put that in the comments as well and just have a touchstone for that idea of I want to raise myself up I want to grow from here I want to be more than I was yesterday don't stay low let's grow see you on the water eh